to learn about data science or machine learning it is basic necessity to know about the statistics nowadays if anybody is attending data science or data analyst interview it is obvious to face some questions related to statistics if someone is new to this data science world it is very difficult for him or her to relate statistical application using the python code so in this video you will find the main key notes about descriptive statistics with python code before that we need to understand what is statistics so to know about statistics we first know about the two term population and sample population is total data set collected for our analysis denoted as capital n sample is subset of population denoted as small n statistics is a mathematical analysis and representation about this sample data only parameter is the mathematical representation of population data so now we have some idea what is statistics let's move on i'm giving you one example one company who wants to conduct a survey on employee satisfaction for the entire company you are task with contacting your project members about their opinion and then submitting them to the hr management okay that hr management they will capture all the records so is it population or sample data what should be the name of this presented value let's find out the answer so it is sample data and presented value is called statistics because we took only one project members data which is a small part of the whole company's data okay now we have some understanding about the statistics and how the data is captured okay let's move on so before that we need to find out how many types of data we have there are two types of data categorical and numerical so numerical data is divided into two part discrete and continuous so next slide i will explain what is this two types of data here you can find out some definition so categorical is representing groups and categories for example music genre kind of numerical is representing numbers like salary revenue etc discrete is numerical data which can be counted in a finite way for example number of students exam score continuous is is infinite and impossible to count for example weight height till now we understood the type of data let us go ahead with the python code in the jupyter notebook first you have to declare all the packages which are required so i have already done that and later on i just try to explain how we can how to find out all the type of variables okay so we are categorical and numerical we know apple banana orange these are all the categorical variable and here i have prepared one list and let me run that list then you can find out the list of data and you can find out the index zeros data apple now i have create one dictionary and uh, it is showing the data in that way like uh, keys and values now how will you get the keys of a dictionary like this and how will you get the values you have to use dot values now i have created another number list let me display that list now also you can find out the numbers using random function i have create we have printed uh, five random numbers here this is also a random integer function and type of this uh, numerical data so discrete and continuous and age is discrete data month is continuous data so i have convert this dictionary to the data frame i have created one dictionary age and month first i am converted to the data frame and 
I have displayed the data frame. So in this code, you will get some fillings like all the list declaration, dictionary declaration, and how dictionary to converting to the data frame. You will get some idea. Next, move on to the next slide. In this slide, we will know what is labels of measurement. So there are two types of labels of measurement. One is qualitative and quantitative. So two qualitative labels are nominal and ordinal and two quantitative labels are interval and ratio. Let's find out the definition of this. Ordinal is ordered categories. Okay. Nominal is unordered categories. Interval is number but not having true zero. Ratio numbers with true zero. Okay. So in the Python code, I will show you what are all the examples we have. Let's move to the Python code. Now we are in Jupyter uh, Python area where first I have created one nominal data dictionary. Okay. So what is what kind of data we can use for the nominal data? Gender, hair color, etc. Let's run the code. Okay. Next, ordinal data. It's in the ordered way. So that's our ordinal data. Let's go to the interval data. It's income. That is our one kind of interval data. Now we are moving to the ratio data. So height. It cannot be negative, but ratio has zero, but interval does not have. Now we know uh, we can represent these categorical variables and these numerical variables all in a different visualization. Okay, here, so here I am trying to use some of the variables and I try to uh, portray like how we can create some visualization about this categorical variable. So first categorical variable distribution and frequency distribution tables. Okay, let's run the code and it's displaying in a table format. Now categorical variable display is the bar chart format. How it will be? It's a simple bar chart. Next pie chart. It's also a simple pie chart. Now Pareto chart. So Pareto chart, I am created part by part, okay? Because before the Pareto chart, I have to convert the data frame in a different format. I will provide all the code link end of this course. You can find out and you can try it for your own. This is a histogram and now I am showing you scatter plot. Just observe histogram is a numerical variable visualization and scatter plot all also numerical variable visualization. So when we are going to uh, go ahead with some code Python code and uh, visualization uh, training session there we have to think about like is the categorical variable or is a numerical variable. So we have to uh, choose the graph uh, or chart option in according to that way. Till now we talked about different types of variables. In the next video we will discuss about central tendency which is part of descriptive statistics only and we will do some python coding. So if you want to know more on data science materials or machine learning or any tech visualization technology, please like and comment and subscribe my channel to get the more update and press the bell button. Thank you.